Uncle Nero, I see you. If God has been good to you this year, please give God a round of applause, I beg of you. No, now, with these faces I'm seeing, God has done better than that round of applause. Give God a louder round of applause. Look at your partner and tell your partner, God bless you. You know, um, I want to say big kudos to my big Egbo and his lovely wife, the Malaolus. God bless you. For 12 years or 13 years now, I've been touring the southwest of Nigeria, trying to build the comedy sector in our part of the country. And these people are one of those set of people that have made us succeed. Can I have a round of applause for them? God bless you for, all, for the platform you give us. If you love your wife, give your wife a round of applause, I beg of you. If you like, don't clap now. Don't clap. If you love her well, clap for her. If you love your wife, seriously, lean towards her and tell her, I love you. <laughs> Walla, wow. <laughs> See, I, 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 I have a little challenge, and I need your help. I need your advice. Um, I have an event I have to run to, but I had to be here to seek your advice on this thing. See, three years ago, my wife just woke me up from bed. Baby, I've realized something. Anytime my wife calls me baby, I'm in trouble. Baby, I say, hey. Say, baby, I say, hey. Baby, our neighbor just painted their house. I said, so what do we do? I said, hey, let's paint our own too. So what did I do? I painted the house. She woke me up two years ago. Baby, I said, what? Our neighbor just bought a car for his wife. I said, so what do I do? Eh, you know now. So I bought her a car too. Last year, this last year that I just went past, I don't know how she found it. She goes, baby, I say what? Our neighbor just changed the city in their sitting room. So what did I do? I changed our own too. But two weeks ago, I noticed something, and my wife has not told me. My neighbor has married a new wife. <laughs> am, I am I supposed to ask her that, baby, um, what's your advice? You've been married longer than me. I go, no, what's your advice? Do I tell her, or I wait for her to tell me? Eh. <laughs> uh -huh. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to be here. My name is Benga Dinka the first. My, my people have a saying that a Yoruba man that has not greeted you is not a real Yoruba man. Everywhere I go in the world, I tell them that the Yoruba race is the best race on the face of the earth. For two reasons. Because a Yoruba man can kill you with greeting. Morning is a car. Afternoon is a car. Evening is a quarrel. Night is a car. You buy a new car, you are getting married, you are standing up, you are sitting down, you are running, you are not doing anything. Somebody slaps you, somebody hugs you, hugging. So in the spirit of my Yorubanness, let me start by greeting all of you by saying, Sanunku Jema, Sunana, Binga, Adeinka, Serikin, Dayani. If you don't speak Aosa in the war of Ambu, Binga Adeinka one, the Ofe Manu one of Lagos, the Osimilia Tata one of Okija, and by the grace of God, the Nukma one of Afghanistan. If you don't speak Igbo or Bokia, Elimei Binga Adeinka. If you are Rubo, Urubo Ado, or Deme Binga Adeinka. If you are Yoruba, Ekwoleo, Binga Adeinka, Liminje, Egetishiki. If you don't speak Yoruba, bonsoir, shima pel binga adeinka. If you don't speak French, dubro pa shalorat spasiba binga adeinka. If you don't speak Russian, go to aben ismi binga adeinka. If you are German, sabunani iga malami binga adeinka. If you are Indian, namaste miranam binga adeinka. If you understand Chinese, you're on your own. Now then bring coronavirus. It's not every day I see my boy in Lagos, so I'm going to welcome you to Lagos. It's very rare to welcome people to Lagos. In other states, you see welcome to Sokoto, welcome to, but what do you see in Lagos? There's, that one is the biggest slide. There's nowhere at Bega that you see this is Lagos. Nobody bothers to welcome you. See, this Igbo guy was leaving his village. He went to his father, Papa. In Amije, Lagos, you. The father said, what? He said, Papa, ask him in Amije, Lagos. I'm going to... The, papa, the father said, nah, 
Sherry, come there. So the father waits. I'll be back. So the father went inside. After three minutes, comes back to his son. Said, where do you say you are going again? The, papa, the boy said, Papa, Lagos. Say, hmm, Lagos. I have here one piece of advice for you. Now, when you get to Lagos, be very careful with Yoruba people, Ofe Manu people. Be very careful with them. So the boy took the advice. When he got to Lagos, where's the first place you usually come down when you get to Lagos? Madam, when you come, we like just call it simply. So as the guy came down at Bega, the first bus that came past, oh, showed you, showed you, oh, say, eh, Yoruba people. He ran away. The next bus came, oh, Jota, oh, Jota, oh, Jota, I want my license here, conductor, you, Nisense, oh, eh, Yoruba people. He ran again. Then another bus now came, oh, Yigbo, oh, Yigbo, oh, Yigbo, oh, Yigbo, oh, Yigbo, oh, Yigbo, now wait, 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 oh, Yigbo. So he entered the bus, sat down. They got into traffic. After two minutes, he was thinking, nah, how can I be in a bus with my people and not greet them? So he got up. You know Lagosians now. They started giving him gap. Say, Abi, they are not hearing me well. He went to the middle of the bus. People started shouting, Conductor, your next bus stop. Wow, come and logge wajo. What to the call where the Finally, when he saw that they were not answering, he went to the front of the bus. Conductor went to him. Show ya where it is. Yes, on your way. From Indemnity South Local Government Area. On your way. See, my prayer for all of us here tonight is that may we always be successful. I can hear your amen. Tell your neighbor you'll be a success. Ah, Ozzy Bosco, Ambassador. I see you, sir. How are you doing, sir? Can we give this young man a round of applause? One of those people you should watch out for in the entertainment industry. Amazing young guy. See, I keep telling people, and I've said this over and over and over and over again, that Nigeria is the best country on the face of the earth. We might not have gotten to the promised land, but we will get there. If you are passionately Nigerian, give yourself a round of applause, I beg of you. See, they, they always say Nigerians are terrorists. Nigeria is not a good country. Nigeria is a... Is a no Nalayo, Lagos shows you what Nigeria is. We have some crazy people and we have some people. I was at Oshodi. When Oshodi was still Oshodi. Oshodi is now at Jebota Oshodi, I mean. Every time I go to Oshodi, I see, I see that big thing there. I say, hey! When Oshodi was Oshodi. When you will be walking at Oshodi amongst the, the, the crowd, you will see yourself moving, your leg is not touching ground, there's people carrying you. In those days, somebody warned me, that was when GSM phone first came out. The guy said, when are you going to Oshodi? Keep your phone well low. In my mind, I'll say, me. Me. So, what thing go happen? Say, ah, they can steal your phone. I say, me. In this Lagos. So, I took Molue to Oshodi. I don't know how many of you have ever been in a Molue in your life. You had your butter as early, Womolue. So I got inside Molue, came down to Shodi, and the first thing that rang in my mind is keep your phone. So I said, well, let me put the phone here. Mm -mm. Let me, mm -mm. let me, somebody just tap me from the back. Alaye, keep this phone where you want, keep a meal thief where you want thief now. Uh -uh. With a loose concentration. No. Lagos, Lagos will humble you. Is it not in this Lagos? That one guy, one guy, when he had police problem, became an animal. I'm a babu. I live in the zoo. Meanwhile, I know the house where the guy is stay. Don't be zoo. Lagos will humble you. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, you will never have Lagos problem. Hello? See, Lagos is probably the craziest place on the face of the earth. If you can survive Lagos, you can survive anywhere. Am I right or right? Not be Lagos, I'm Robert, jump fence, enter house, open door, bah! See, ah, ah, ah. Sorry. Madam, now your husband will say yes. Now that they live inside this house, say yes. Ah. We own a fridge. Eh, we don't have. Ah. We own a TV. Eh, it's with repairer. Ah. 
We are in the kitchen. Now outside with the cook. Ha! And now they still Lagos. Come. Take this money. Go your village. If we come here, come rob next week, we see you now. We go kill you now. See, Lagos. Lagos is a crazy place. But the beauty of Lagos is that Lagos is the best place in Nigeria. Your name matters a lot. A couple of years ago, when Babich was still Babich, how many of you remember Babich? You can't know Babich. It's now a co Atlantic, Abby. A lot of things have changed in Lagos. So. There was a time that that water used to get as far as this place we are sitting. Who knows? In those days, one woman went to the beach with her children. All of a sudden, she started shouting, Hey, my Pekino, my Pekino, water don't carry my Pekino. Water. I was very alarmed. I ran to her, Madam. Kilushele, Kilushele. Hey, water don't carry my Pekino. I said, No, Madam. Don't be negative. Be positive. Say, Oga, leave motivational speaking. Water don't carry and go far. I said, Madam, how do you know? He said, Oga, now the name. I said, Name. Say, Yes. Now the name when Papa give him. Now he calls him. I said, What's his name? He said, Oga, his name. I said, Yes. His name. I said, Yes. Oga, his name na Titus. I say, you born Pekin, call him Titus. You say, make water no carry him. When you born another one, call him Geisha, make you see whether they don't take our chop bread. But ladies and gentlemen, before I leave, I don't know how many of us are not Gen Z's. If you are not a Gen Z, let me see your hand up. I'm going to leave with this. If you are not a Gen Z, if you are alive in the 80s, can I see your hand up? Okay, one, two. No, don't be, sh don't be shy. It's nothing to be shy about. If you are alive in the 80s, let me see your hand up. If you are alive in those days when our TV sets had four legs, let me see your hand. If you are alive when our TV set looked like wardrobe, let me see your hand. If you are alive when TV had funny names like Telephone Ken, Grundig, Sanyo, JVC, National, let me see your hand. Wave that hand. If you are alive when TV used to start at four o'clock, let me see your hand. If you are alive when three minutes to four, you were shh. Two minutes to four. Ooh. A minute to four. You see black, white, black, white. If you wanted to watch color TV in those days, you had to pray. Pray well that somebody in your family will be sick. Why? There will be a bottle of Lucozade in the fridge. Remove the Lucozade wrapper. Put it in front of the screen. What do you get? Color TV. Watching color TV in those days was like having yellow fever. Four o'clock on the door to hear bang, 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 bang. If you know this one, I'll give up on you. Nigeria. Our own dear. Don't me in and Ah, uh, ah, uh, that man pretending to be a woman up there. Stop dyeing your hair. Leave it in its natural color. You can't, your hair can't be like that and you will know this anthem. I'm not even remember that we had the best programs on TV in those days. I'm not even remember Jam Block, Capena, Robot, Michael, London. Nobody. I'm not even know. That um, how many of you remember Atom? How many of you remember that the first program that came on TV at the song? If you don't know it, please don't sing it. It's, if you, you have to be an Ajay Butter to know the song. Stormy day, chasing the clouds away. On my way to where the air is sweet. Can you tell me how to get, how to get to? That's what we were brought up on. I'm not even remember. Eddie Kwanze. There are old people here, Allah. I'm not even remember. Omoni Resiti Day. Aduke Alake. You people are old. I'm the youngest person here. I'm not even remember. Uh, Suradi Taylor. 
I don't know if you remember that in those days to be a musician, your song had to have meaning. Do you remember? Botu Sherry, see what you did? On Pade Adamo. Hello, my I want to lie in Lanoda. Do you remember? Ring my bell. Do you remember? Brown girl in the ring. There's a brown girl in the ring. Do you remember? A, B, C. One, two, three. Do, re, mi. My son. I decided to take him to school in those days when Banky W just came to Nigeria. I carried him in my car. There's a difference between a, a car and a car. I carried him in my car. He sat down at the back. After we had driven for a few minutes, he said, Dad, I said, what? <laughs> but in my mind, I was thinking, ah, this life is bad. It has spoiled. My father will carry me in his rickety 404. I will be sitting at the back. And I'll say, bar me. He will think I've gone mad. <laughs> because in my days, children were meant to be seen and not heard. So I said, well, things have changed. He said, Dad, I said, what? Can I play my CD, play, my CD in your CD player? I said, hey. Baba Benga, Daddy, hey, John, if you play cartridge me in your cartridge player, you cook by me, you cook by mommy me. Straight. But I said, well, times have. So I slotted in the CD and I heard, under my umbrella, umbrella. I said, umbrella, is it raining? I, I said, young man, I'm taking you back home now. When we get home, you must listen to Nigerian music. If I get back in the evening, you can sing a few Nigerian songs to me. I will not pay your school fees. I will not do what? I'm not like your daddy. Me, I don't like to pay school fees. So I'm a Malian. Malians don't pay school fees. So I came back in the evening. He said, Dad, I said, what? I started listening to Nigerian music. I said, good boy, sing one to me. He said, Daddy, I am a downfall driver. I said, are you normal? Devil driver with all these kufis I paid. My friend, sing another one. Say, Daddy, I don't Jogodo. See, I said, I said Jogodo. Which one is Jogodo? He said, I don't know Jogodo. I said, no. He ran inside, brought one white paper. He said, Daddy, where the Risla and the Ganja? Me, I want. I said, Ganja. If you smoke Ganja, do you know what will happen? If me, your father, smoke Ganja, what do you think will happen to me? He said, Daddy, you smoke Ganja. Oh, my mental case. Start to the craze. I said, let's even assume that I craze. Well, don't you know that you will be disgracing me? He said, Daddy, can a big deal? Can a big deal? I said, can a big deal? I said, wait, even if I, if I go mad and I don't pay your school fees, how will you pay your school fees? He said, Daddy, ah, uh ah, -uh, in this day and age. Yahoo! I said, ha! If police arrest you for Yahoo, what will your friends say? Daddy, my friends will get around me. They start singing, Uriye, uh, for Kazibe. I said, let's even assume that Uriye, I ran inside, brought Koboko. When he saw the Koboko with me, shouted, Lorile! I'm still looking for him. God bless.